Eleanor Rathbone is probably Liverpool's most famous welfare feminist and suffragist. She held a lifelong commitment to the poor of Liverpool and followed in the footsteps of other female reformers such as Josephine Butler and Elizabeth Fry. She can also be seen as an elusive, enigmatic figure who has not received the public acclaim that other women of her generation have received and should therefore be placed in our balloon. Her critics might suggest that she was just a product of her time, like many other middle-class lib liberal Liverpool women of her day, searching for a cause to pursue. Or, alternatively, was she a radical, innovative feminist, prepared to challenge the Victorian Edwardian restrictive socialisation of women? I will argue that Eleanor deserves her place in the balloon and should be saved from the great fall down because not only was she ahead of her time but her impact and lasting significance indicate that she should be included. My first introduction to Eleanor Rathbone was through a portrait painted of her when she was a middle-aged looking woman and she appeared rather stern, austere, almost a stereotypical Victorian lady. Her face gives nothing away about her radical politics, her compassion and concern for the needs of others. Susan Pedersen, Eleanor Rathbone's biographer, argues that she was the most sophisticated feminist thinker and effective British woman politician of the first half of the 20th century. Eleanor Rathbone was born in 1872 into the Liverpool Rathbone philanthropic dynasty a wealthy dissenting liberal family, steeped in political traditions and social responsibility. The family dynamics and the social work of her father, William Rathbone, who was instrumental in the creation of Liverpool University and district nursing in Liverpool, were early influences on Eleanor's life, and she regularly toured the slums with her father. On her return to the family home in Liverpool, following her education at Somerville College, college with like-minded women, she joined her father and immersed herself in social and philanthropic work in the city. She worked tirelessly in the slums of Liverpool, where she witnessed firsthand the effects of the casual dock work system on families. Eleanor felt it her duty, like others of her family, to become actively involved in reform and realised to effect lasting social change, women must rise to the challenge of citizenship and gain the vote. She wanted public equality and not recognition of domestic roles, and immediately began to campaign and write articles to highlight the effects of poverty and deprivation on women and families. So, in 1896, she joined the suffrage movement. Eleanor Rathbone was seen as the most anti-militant of local suffragists and did not support the radical actions of the suffragettes, preferring negotiation rather than action. In 1922, she first stood unsuccessfully for Parliament. In 1929, she was elected to Parliament as an independent, a position that she was to hold for nearly two decades. She was a formidable backbencher, proud of her independent position and her ability to pursue a cause based on her conscience rather than a party political line. The causes that Ellen Rathbone devoted her life to demonstrate a skill and the political climate in which she was involved at the time. These causes include votes for women, feminism, anti-Nazism and the plight of women in the colonies, Jewish refugees, anti-appeasement and many, many more. The scale of her commitment is staggering and her commitment to pursue each of them is demonstrated with zeal as she pursues each one as an independent MP and negotiated her way through political intrigue and was a prolific worker, passionate about her commitment to the poor a commitment that never weakened. But 
She is perhaps best known for her work on the family allowance, nowadays called child benefit. In 1924, based on her investigations in Liverpool into the plight of widows, the poverty and effects of the casual labour market on families, she called for financial remuneration paid directly to the mother. This was opposed for some considerable time, but Eleanor stood firm. And finally, in 1945, one year before her death, she saw it made into law as the Family Allowance Act was finally passed. Eleanor Rathbone had stood firm on her convictions and had a successful and dynamic political life. A life that had impact and lasting significance, arguably in the form of child benefit, a political issue that is still debated today. She fought against gender discrimination and blazed a path into politics for other women to follow behind her. <laughs>